Hi, I'm Tanya Williams, and I'm Curriculum Specialist at Leadership. And I'm Abby Prince, the Director of Program Quality and Management at Leadership. And today we're back to talk about the next higher principle of resilience, which is forgiveness. We start with this quote from Robert Mueller, which says, to forgive is the highest, most beautiful form of love. In return, you will receive untold peace and happiness. And what a delightful feedback loop that is, honestly, when you're able to give something to someone else, but you can get something back in return. What is forgiveness? It's a voluntary choice that you make that's a gift from you. The forgiveness is really for you and not for the person that you are forgiving. It allows you to let go of the past and of anger, resentments, and hurts. Please note that some deep and fresh hurts might take time to forgive, and that's okay. How does forgiveness contribute to your resilience? It doesn't justify, excuse, or condone the wrong that was done to you. It doesn't turn you into a doormat and allow someone to continue to do something repeatedly to you over time. Holding a grudge often gives an instinctual comfort zone to the owner. So know that when you're walking into a situation where you're holding a grudge against someone, that gives that other person a comfort zone unintentionally. Stress caused by holding a grudge affects you physically and emotionally. Forgiveness lets others know that you no longer wish to be in a state of hostility with them. It's kind of a release of that anger that you might be holding between yourself and another person. And it forgives you from that self-defeating energy of resentment. We only have so much energy to give, and so it's good when we can let go of those resentments so that we can put our energy towards good. There are lots of different ways to practice forgiveness, and I really like this mini forgiveness practice. If you could consider someone that has hurt you or caused you pain and imagine what that emotion, those emotions that you might have associated with that hurt are. Maybe it's feelings of anger or resentment or sadness. How are you physically feeling as you think about that person that has caused you pain? Take note of your thoughts. Are you thinking hateful and spiteful thoughts perhaps about that person? Start asking yourself, who is suffering because of this? Have I carried this burden long enough? And am I willing to forgive? If you answered no to these questions, that's okay. Give yourself the patience to work through what you need to for that forgiveness to take place. But if you are ready to let go, say that you are breathing in the acknowledgement of that pain and breathing out the forgiveness and releasing the burden from your heart and mind. Try forgiveness now. Take some time to think about who you should work harder to forgive in your life. Perhaps you can practice that mini forgiveness exercise from the previous slide.